Hello everybody. Sorry I'm out. I know this is not ideal so early in the school year, but you know how it is these days. Alright, we have to be extra cautious. So, if you've been wondering, wondering what we've learned so far this year, it all comes down to, to graphing this relationship between X and Y. It's a fairly complicated relationship between X and Y. You know, you put in an X value, which is which would be one of these numbers down here, right, on the X axis. You put in a number, and then you want to know what will eventually be the Y value that goes with it. But you'd have to subtract 2, then square it, then subtract 3 from that, and then you'll get an output that you plot on the Y axis. And if you plot all these points, uh, you know, put all your points down, you know, what does the parabola end up looking like? Do we have to make a t-chart and get all those values? You know, put in negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. That's a lot of, a lot of work, and also it doesn't even give you very much. It only, that's only 6 points. Can we, can we quickly get all the points? Well, because of the work we've been doing, we know that it, we can take the baby parabola and move it around. So where does it move to? In here, it moves it left and right, but backwards. So this minus 2 moves it into positive 2 left and right. So it moves it over to 2, positive 2. And then uh, later, after we do the squaring magic, this minus 3 will, will move the 0 square down 3. So the 0 square moves out 2, and then later down 3. There's the new smallest output of this relationship. Let's see if I can clean this up. So fun. Sorry about that. Okay. So there's the new vertex. Remember, this is... So it moved It moved out to 2, comma 3, negative 3. I got that from that number, but the reverse for the x-coordinate and that number and just itself for the y-coordinate. Now I look in front of the squaring area to see if there's a multiplier in effect. There's no multiplier there, or it, there is, it's a 1. So we don't write the 1 because it doesn't change it. Which means it's growing at regular squaring speed. Which means if you go out 1, it squares up to 1. If you go out two, it squares up to four, but that's just three more. So out one, up one, up out one more, up three more. It works the other way too. Out one, up one, out one, up three more. One, two, three. Out one more, up five more. One, two, three. And that's that's it. We did it. This is the parabola. That's what you're graphing. You're graphing, graphing the parabola. Okay, so quick review. X coordinate inside here, but backwards. Y coordinate outside here, but not backwards. Speed of growth right there. Normal pattern for one, one, three, five, seven. Okay. Okay, let's look at another parabola. Here's its equation in vertex form. We call it vertex form because it quickly tells you that the vertex is going to be at negative 4, comma, positive 5, x, comma, y. That's where the vertex will go. And when we look for the multiplier, we have a negative multiplier. So we're going to be growing down. First, let's find the vertex. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's negative 4, 5. And then we check the multiplier again. It says it's negative 1 or just a negative sign. So the negative 1, we go out 1, down 1. Out 1, down 3 more. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 2, 3, 4, 5. Booyah. Okay, nice little upside down one let's do one more okay vertex here we go vertex form of this parabola uh, the is, is the vertex is at positive four negative five 
Now we check the multiplier, and it's going to boost up all the squaring behavior out of from the zero square, the, the, the lowest point. It's going to boost it up twice, so out one, up two. And then the next one should be out one more, up three more, but it's, it's going to be out one more, up six more. The growth pattern has been boosted, stretched up, sped up. If you're wondering, you know, why why is this happening? Well, if you move one spot away from the 4, let's say you put in a 5. Well, 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 squared is 1. But then you double it to 2. There's the boost. And then you move it down 5 to make the adjustment why it's down here instead of, you know, sitting on the x-axis itself. So the boost happens after you the move right and left. The boost happens and then everything's moved down. All right, the next step out would be one five, but instead it's going to be ten. Yeah, that's right. Six, seven, eight, nine. It's just barely on my screen. Excellent. And obviously, if you had. Uh, like a negative two, it would boost down to down twice as fast, or negative three would be down triple speed. Or, them. okay, we're almost done here. One more example with a fractional a speed here. Um, if you're feeling lost, I just want to take one second to appreciate all these symbols. We've got these parentheses symbols here. And the variable with some adjustment, that's the left-right adjustment, but backwards. we got the squaring, that's important, or else it won't make a parabola. And we have the um, up-down adjustment back here for the vertex and all the other points. And then we have the speed adjustment up in front. So hopefully, if you just take a moment to appreciate all the symbols, there's the equal sign. There's the output variable. If you appreciate all of the symbols and take it one step at a time, I think you'll get it. So vertex form, our x coordinate is negative 3, our y coordinate is 2, positive 2, there it is. But now we're going to grow using the square pattern, but half of the square pattern. So out 1, up a half, out 1 more, up 3 halves, 1, 2, 3, out 1 more, up 5 halves, which is 2 and a half. And then we can mirror these, and we're done. Let's do one more just for fun. One, seven halves. That's three and a half. Oh, my, my equation over there. Right. Do, do, do. And if this was negative half, you know what, just for fun, let's just let's do another one. Let's just pretend it was a negative half. Then we would grow down at... Out one down a half, out one down three halves, out one more down two and a half, out one more down three and a half. Yep, yep, yep. So, one little symbol totally changes it. Alright, that should us eight and a half minutes, so I'll make one more video for how to do the last section of the handout.